Hi everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Design. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sammy, welcome. Today we are doing another dupe versus thrift video. I wanted to focus today on Heart and Hand and Magnolia. I'm combining the both of them because I feel like a lot of the stuff looks very similar and I was a little bit more inspired by Heart and Hand to be honest. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I think this one is absolutely ridiculous for a dupe, but you guys, it was regular price. It's $22 for just this one whole flower and two little buds, but it has 76 reviews, which means 76 people or more have bought this. So to each their own, but $22 for a stem with three flowers on it is way too much. We are in my flower shop, tons of flowers. And I know after seeing that clip, I was like, uh, $22 regular price for that is insane. And I know, I know for sure there's something from Dollar Tree in here that looks so similar. And if you're like, there's not anything from Dollar Tree that looks like that. Look, it's right here. Right here. They come in just these singles like this. And, oh, look at how gorgeous that is. So that was a dollar 25. And then there's something that I've thrifted because I have right here. So this one was in a, um, like a base or whatever that I thrifted. So technically this was free and this is such high quality. I even shortened it because it was like glued in there, but uh, yes, 22 versus free or $1.25. So of course I had to show you these all set up. You guys look at how gorgeous this Dollar Tree one was. $1.25 looks just as good as the Magnolia. And then this thrift one that was basically free and looks so high end and it's just missing one little flower. That is what I call saving at the thrift store. Now this next one, you guys, this was $46 and it came in a bunch of like different shapes and sizes. And these were actually on like a smaller scale and I didn't have anything exactly like it, but I knew that we can DIY dupe it. So I am going to go into the garage and we are going to find something that looks similar. Now a DIY we're going to do, and it's the closest I'm probably going to have to the base I was looking at, but I think it's this one right here. Now these I think are just from Dollar Tree, I think. And even though the mouth on hers is smaller, we are going to try to turn this one into a version of hers. Heading back into the craft room, I cleaned our glass up. I'm gonna take clear matte by rust -Oleum and head outside and spray this. This is gonna give something for our paint to adhere to and it helps with like the chipping and the flaking of the paint on a slick surface. Now, after that's done, you can see totally different, looks nice and cloudy, that's what we want. I'm gonna take crinoline, which is this beautiful off-white color. It does not have a yellow undertone, which is why I love it so much. And I'm gonna take my little dipper DIY brush. I only have three of these in stock until I reorder, so make sure to head to the website, unicorndustdesigns.com, and grab it. So I'm gonna do a first coat with just brushing it on. Now, if y'all know my channel and I say this all the time, I don't like brush strokes. So I am gonna go in for a second coat and this is where I'm going to stipple the paint on. For me, this just gives it a nice smooth finish, makes it look more upscale and look at how good. Do you see how smooth that looks? Oh, yes. All right. Now I'm gonna take Big Top and I am going to put Big Top all over our vase. We are going to play around with a paint inlay and I'm gonna try something different. Usually I would do the paint, put Big Top on little sections and put my paint inlay on. This time so that I can make sure the entire texture is the same throughout, I decided I'm gonna apply Big Top first and then I'm gonna start doing my sections. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna grab the Indigo Floral uh, Paint Inlay from IOD, 
and we are going to start cutting some pieces out of here. I don't want anything with sharp edges. I want it to be very flowy, kind of whimsical. And so I need enough. I'm going to cut some bigger pieces out and then I'm going to cut some smaller filler pieces. You can also recreate this look using decoupage paper that you print on tissue paper. Now I'm going to take that big top and I'm going to do the bigger ones in sections. So you can see I'm starting from the top and then I am going to lift that up and do the second half. Just make sure if any of that paint has already transferred, you do not hit it with that big top or you're going to smear it. So I continue to do that all around and I am not looking for perfection. If wrinkles happen, if the paint inlays overlap, that is okay. I'm going to do some little pieces. Now you guys, what I tried here that worked so well is after I would put the big top on, so you'll see right here, I'm going to do big top. I'm going to lay it on and smooth it out. When I spritz it with water, I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to dab the paint inlay as well as the excess of any of that big top that I put on here. So you'll see it right now. I dab it and then I dab over the big top and you guys, this made for a flawless paint inlay. I had no paper looking, you know, what do you call it? You guys are picking up what I'm putting down. It did not leave a paper imprint like the ones that I did before. Now I used these bigger pieces and you can see it's overlapping. It's folding over itself. That's okay. The vase that we are duping was not perfection. It was old. It looks like it was aged. And so it's okay if it looks like some of the pieces are missing. Now that it is completely dry, I'm going to spritz it with, pay, uh, with water once again, dab the excess off. You would wait like 15 to 30 seconds. Then you're going to start peeling your paint and lays off. And y'all, you guys know I've had trouble with these paint and lays. This came out so good. If you guys ever have a problem with your paper still sticking, all you got to do is spritz it with some more water and peel it back. But look at that paint transferring. We're going to do this big one right here because it was so vibrant and it came out so smooth. And like I said, I didn't have any of that like paper line around any of these inlays doing it the way that I did. After I'm done with the paint inlays, I'm taking a layered chocolate, which is a beautiful dark brown, and I'm going to take my sponge brush and go over the rim here. Now in the picture, it was kind, it does look like almost it was sponged or chipping away. So I couldn't get on the inside rim. So what I did was take a stencil brush and I'm kind of stippling that on, giving it a more natural, like chipped effect. And then I'm going to go under that little rim and do the same thing. Just taking my time and making it look very natural and aged in the inspo pick. There's also little pieces that look like it's flaking off throughout. So I carried that throughout the vase as well. And our last step is going to be taking dark and decrepit and I'm going to stipple that on and then wipe it back because again, in the Magnolia one, it looks like there are these shadows, not shadows. You guys are picking up what I'm putting down. So I carry that throughout the base. And then our last step is to take it outside. I'm going to take clear gloss by Rust-Oleum and I am going to give this two coats and I'm going to let it completely dry. And y'all that was so fun to do and turned out absolutely beautiful. Look at our dupe. Those paint inlays brought this all to life. The crinoline was the perfect match. And then that chalk layered chocolate 
for that aged look. I love how this came out. If you guys are enjoying these dupes, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you can see more in the future. I hope you guys are enjoying all of these so far. I love how this one turned out. This next one, you guys, was $24, and I seriously see these at the thrift store all the time in all different colors in all different styles, but one that is very common and I see all the time I actually have in my stash and it was way cheaper than $24. Also down here in my pile, I knew I had something else that looked pretty darn similar. It's like a, we're playing Jenga, okay? Let's see, can we balance that? Yes, we don't need that. We need, I think it's all gonna come crashing down this Jenga block. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. This, oh gosh, this guy right here. Yep, that's it, $1.99. So for $1.99, we saved 22 bucks and we got this exact same look and I just styled it with a Dollar Tree book, a thrifted little water spritzer and ring holder. The plant was a clearance plant and I got the same look for so much less and it just shows you like what you can find at the thrift store and how upscale you can make something look for way less. Now you guys will never believe. Okay, $39.99. This is huge. This is an 18 inch Lazy Susan. And when I went to the thrift store, you guys, ch check this out. Now we head into what is supposed to be our dining room that I should be ashamed of, but you guys, this is real life living, okay? We got donations and then donations the baby has ransacked. But in all of this chaos here, can you tell I'm starting to organize, but it never actually gets done. We have this little beauty, okay? this one right here. I'm going to clean it up. I think it, this is actually, <clears throat> look at that. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Hearth in hand. So this is actually from the company and I'm going to take it apart. We're going to clean it up and then make it look brand new. Can you guys believe that? I found this at Savers for $8.99. And we are going to take the hardware off. We're gonna take the metal um, ring off. I'm gonna take this, it's like a Windex with vinegar in it. And I am going to clean this thoroughly. Then I take it up to my sink and I mildly, mild, mildly, mildly wash it with some dish soap and water and then I let it completely dry. Now we're taking this all natural beeswax, which I get from Brie at upcyclebybrie.com a microfiber cloth, and I am going to really rub that into our tray. This is just going to bring it back to life. It's gonna brighten the wood back up and it's going to seal it for us as well. I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes, then coming in with a clean microfiber cloth, I'm gonna buff that out. I'm gonna attach all of our hardware back on and that's it, you guys. People get tired of their home decor. And when I brought this home and looked it up and saw that they were still selling it at Target, I was like, that is a massive score. That's like 75% off or more of the original $39.99 price. So you guys go, go to your thrift store and dupe something. Okay. This I saw was $12.99. I know it's simple, you guys, but I, I'm serious. If you can save money thrifting something and upcycling it yourself, then why wouldn't we do that instead of $12.99? So let me show you. All right, don't act all brand new like you guys are shocked to see this. I'm in the process of reorganizing, okay? The candlestick obsession is an obsession. That's why it's called an obsession. And we will talk about that later. But for now, we are going to grab some rolling pins, just one rolling pin. Now, I won't touch the vintage, even though the rolling pin in her picture looks more like this, I won't touch the vintage rolling pin. So we're gonna get one that was $1.98, and we are going to upcycle this one. 
This is gonna be such an easy flip, you guys. So to prep this, I did take it upstairs and I cleaned it with soap and water. Then I took 400 grit sandpaper and I sanded the body of the rolling pin and then washed it again, allowed it to dry. Now we are taking Little Black Dress, which is going to be your closest to pure black from the DIY line, and you could get all of the paints on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. If you hold the rolling pin in a downward position and paint the handle, it makes it so much easier because the handle separates from the body and then you don't get it on the body of the rolling pin. So I painted both sides of the handles, obviously, and then I'm going to take Big Top. And Big Top is one of the DIY sealers. I'm gonna do two coats. You might want to do three of them. This product is food safe and this rolling pin will still be able to be used as a kitchen utensil, utensil tool. <laughs> so I don't know how well it's gonna hold up after um, like several washes, but the more coats you put on, the more it's going to stay on there. But you guys, we got, we got a 198 rolling pin all we had to do was paint the handles to update it and make it look a little bit more modern, put your own twist on it, and we saved so much money. And that was minimal, minimal work that we had to do. Doesn't look exactly like the other rolling pin, but I think it looks just as nice, if not better than the Hearth and Hand. Now, if you guys watch any of my thrift hauls. You know that I love hauling bowls, especially wood bowls. I feel like they just look a little bit more upscale. They go with so many different home decors and they are great to resell, especially if the quality is good and they're in great condition. So I knew that I would have something in the stash to match this and that was way cheaper. Coming into the wood pile section we have a couple options for wood bowls we have this one but it's quite small this one's even a solid american walnut bowl look at that if my camera focused out here that would be great but it doesn't want to. there we go so this one is actually a good one but we do have i don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus out here this one which I think if we cleaned up, this one is probably a good one too, that we can make look. There's also another option in the room. Let's check that one. All right, my friends, we did find another one. This one's available on my website right now. And this one I believe is walnut as well. And maybe it does look similar to the other one. I'll do kind of like a side by side to see which one we like better. I ended up going with the second one. I like the detail and like the carved out lines on the inside and outside of it. And I loved the way that it matched with my kitchen utensils over behind. But you guys, that is it for these dupes today. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope that they motivate you to get out there and shop secondhand to get the same look for a lot less. I appreciate you all spending your time with me and have a great day. I can't wait, I'm out of breath, but I'm out of breath. You would think I walked like five miles. I literally ran up the stairs and back down the stairs. <laughs> You guys my sweet outfit right now i look super professional on top and then i'm wearing paint splattered shorts with my cheeky shoes because that's how i roll okay and then you know he's doing a lot of work back there so he's working on his fitness you know doing doing stuff doing just dog stuff welcome to unicorn dust designs if you're new to my channel hi oh fool my name is sammy and this is hank hi i know you just want to cut from in here i put the gloss on it smell good i don't think you'd want to eat it though okay let's try this again without hank 
Let me just close and read these because I'm not going to lay. 